So, this is the next mission. Uh, here, Commander Mass on. Stay on the ramp, don't move in yet. Check your kit, check your weapons. Make sure you're good to go. Well, how'd it work? Today, we're gonna talk about a little subject that is near and dear to my heart. And it's the strength Star Citizen's gonna be based on. It's gonna be key to your success as a mercenary. Now, as a mercenary, we're not just working for them mission givers. But we're not working for them NPCs. We're working for each other. Sometimes that means being a gunner. Sometimes that means being a medic. Sometimes that means being a guy schlepping some boxes. But what it means is that we're better together. So today, I just want to sit back and appreciate a little bit of together time. I know what you're saying. I'm a solo artist. I do not need a backup band. I just want to come home after work, play a little Star Citizen, not commit to an organization, not have to spend much time trying to be all social life. And believe me, I totally get that. You know, maybe you <laughs> think you're not good at being social. Maybe you're not comfortable with being social. Well, I'm here to tell you, you define your level of engagement. And the key to growth is getting outside your comfort zone and doing something you didn't think you could. For some people, just being social is hitting that wave hotkey when they see another person in the black. For other people, it's being in an organization with a schedule and training program and all that. And the thing about organizations, they add a little structure to the game. And I'm not here to tell you, you need to get one or anything or get you to try to get in one of mine. But it makes the game that much better. Hey, game face. Got one moving right to left, center. Let's see. Let him go since he's facing away. Got contact Wait till right. Wait to see another one and then uh, you take the right, I'll take the middle. You ready? Fire. Three, two, one. Behind cover. Mine down. I got your cover guy and left your Now there's organizations for all sorts of different things. You got your mining organizations, you got your cargo runners, you got your religious organizations and your corporations. You got your organizations of two people. You got your organizations of 2,000 people. You got your Zerg fits who will just take anybody. You got your sweaty elites who are going to go everywhere in formation and make everybody else a little uncomfortable when they come around. Reload. Oh, I'm actually out of ammo. There's two. There's one pushing left. Two center. This game really uh, is right. better together. Somebody to watch your back. Left. Somebody Go. to hey. keep you company. Go. Somebody to pick up Requiring where you might left. slack a little. So. And you'll be there to Clear return left. the middle favor. Middle two. Need some more cover. Both down. Ooh, watch the shits. Did I hit you? No, but I'm desynced. All right, we're good. We're good. Ooh, that was fucking hairy. Left. And you know what they say. We're better than the sum of our parts. So in a situation where you might feel rushed, yep. you can be safe in the knowledge that somebody's there to have your back. Now don't be afraid to get out there and share your game with somebody else. 
because you're gonna have a lot more fun but than you would have If it was an issue, it just isn't now. What are those things? You see that up there? What? There's like three stumps. Yeah, it looks like three dudes like fucking crouching down up here. Oh, they're just three little fucking plants. What the fuck? Are these are these the berries? Oh, these are the berries! Holy shit! What berries? Tambu. Bruh. What the heck? <laughs> are they poisonous? Uh no, I think they're fruit. Oh, still. And let me ask you a question. You're out in the middle of nowhere. You're messing around and the wind picks up. All of a sudden it knocks you over. You've knocked your head on a rock and you're lying there in Think capacity. that train's good? And then it's not, and then you go for a 50 foot tumble. Yeah, this game is not forgiving once you lose your footing. Uh oh, as I see you still. Dying. Um, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm incapacitated. Well, uh, I won't follow you. What are you gonna, gonna do? You <laughs> You're gonna hold M and put out a medic beacon? That was funny, it was funny. Take your chances with just any old Yahoo that shows up? Or is your buddy, who's only two steps behind you, gonna pick you up and you'll continue on? The problem with medic beacons is you never know. Even as a medic, they're a little bit fraught with danger. This might be a bad idea. But I'm gonna try it. Because you might just show up as a medic and find out there's people there waiting to steal your stuff. That ain't cool. You never know if you're going to get jumped. You never know if you're going to be able to actually fulfill right, the contract. Down backwards. Oh, we're good. All right. I fell a little bit, but I uh, didn't hurt myself. Maybe you came all this way and you stumble off the elevator and hurt yourself. But I'll stay put. Even as somebody who's been incapacitated, you're just laying there, looking at a wall, hoping against hope that your medic knows what he's doing. That he came prepared and he knows where to go. All right, buddy, I got you. Medic. That's a lot of uncertainty. Oh, my hero. Like, currently, I'm at three minutes before I die. All right, let's get out of here. Hopefully, I don't die. It's a good thing we're like 30 seconds from the ship. And I want five minutes. Hey, med pens don't fix you all the way. Nice. You might give me a ride? Yeah. I'm just uh, over the ridge to your left, like past the beyond the uh, critter. Well, you, you took a long walk. Always do. But while you're laying there on the ground, staring up at the ceiling, wondering how it's going to work out, what you really should be wondering is, I I'm glad I didn't blow up when I where was my buddy? Alright, bud, get out of here safely. Hey, bud. And maybe next time you're at that ASOP terminal, maybe you say hello to that guy standing by next door. Find out what he's doing. Maybe join a crew, go meet some new people. Might happen into some fun. Somebody to watch your back. Spending time alone out in the black, I get it. It's meditative and restful. But if you want to succeed as a merc, you got to learn to work together. All right, mercs, let's talk about something other than just the hippie sitting around a campfire and singing Kumbaya Mumbo. Let's talk about doing real dirt. Combined arms, getting together with your org and laying down some fire. Yeah, Infiltrating that base, clearing room. He's down. All right, keep pushing up. Fucking up. Holding. I'm down. 
Turn around, turn around. Cleaning up after one another. And making sure we all get out of life. I got sucked in my sector, my bad. Sharing all the crazy stuff that happens in Star Citizen with a friend or two or three or seven. It's way more fun than doing it all alone. So I encourage you to get out there and find some friends, whatever that means to you. There's so much happening on my screen right now. Now some of these hardcore orgs, I'm not going to tell you how to find them, because they don't want to be found. But rest assured, if you're good enough and you make enough friends, they'll find you. We're actually up in the air! <laughs> We're flying this time. Finding a friend? That's easy enough. Start there. Oh, there's two of you right next to me. God, this is sexy! God, I love this game. I know, right? <laughs> Fucking stoned. Fucking storm. Almost. Yeah! I'm just gonna see if we had a camera right now. Definitely could be filming like a cute commercial off the sun dress. Try getting drunk and joining a random crew as a gunner. Go have an impromptu race out on the ice lake with total strangers. Ride off into the sunset together. And never be alone in the dark again. When you got a whole bunch of orgs all coming together for a common purpose, like Jump Town, and there ain't nothing better. So Mercs, in summation, go find a buddy or a crew or an org or an army. And remember, preparation is key. Alright, Grant, get back inside. Touch away.